On your block in New Center on West Grand Boulevard, that's where a new and the only all halal brunch house is. Yeah, they are not to be confused with any other restaurant as their location is really in the heart of Detroit. Chris, I know you're here with Boulevard Brunch and you love a good brunch. I love a good brunch and look at this. This it looks fantastic. We're going to touch on this food in a minute made by Chef Gabriel, also of owner T here. Thanks a lot for coming in this morning, guys. Thank you for having us, Chris. All right, T, tell us about the atmosphere you're trying to, you know, really set with Boulevard Brunch House. Well, so, um... It's, it's so it's your traditional brunch house um, and we gave it like a Mediterranean infusion. Um, it, um, our sandwiches are based off of croissants. Um, we have peach cobbler French toast. We have our za'atar uh, grilled cheese. We have our wild mushroom hash and our um, uh, salmon bacon. Yeah, you're stepping on your Chef Gabriel's uh, toes yes. here, though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, geez. I mean, what, what about the history? You're unique because it's halal, yeah. right? It's all halal. It's going to be the first halal brunch house in the city of Detroit. Um, I've been in the area for the past six years. Um, I own the Zoe's Good Burger next door. Um, and I've been a part of the New Center community um, way before it started growing the way it is now. Um, I'm very glad to be a part of the growth in the area. Um, and I just thought about bringing a little more uh, food diversity. Hey, we always area. like food diversity. Now, Chef Gabriel, tell us, was it a challenge kind of cooking with a strictly halal menu? Oh, not necessarily. There's a lot of um, Mediterranean kind of breakfasts that um, are classics that super easy to kind of infuse into just normal brunch menu kind of things. Okay, um, let's get into the food a little bit more. Yeah. Let's talk on the, start on this side. Tell me about this and what's in it. So uh, we've got a triple decker grilled cheese here. It's uh, Gruyere, Gouda, and cheddar cheese. Mm, love those three combinations. Yeah. Nice. Now this looks like some salmon jerky or something. Yeah. So it's a salmon bacon. It's a cured salmon belly uh, that is uh, hot smoked. Uh, there's a little piece of skin on the back, so it's crispy too. Yeah, the really skin. Good. That's where all the nutrients is, right? Definitely. Yeah. You want to keep the skin on there. Now this looks like a very delicate something for the su delicate uh, for the sweet sweet tooth yeah um, so we have uh, French toast pancakes and waffles and you can get various sets so this is our uh, peach cobbler set it's um, a vanilla filling in the middle you've got glazed peaches on top butter crumble and then just classic French toast of course I meant decadent not delicate but it might be delicate as well now this looks more <laughs> like a traditional breakfast but what exactly is in there that makes it halal yeah we've got a vegetarian uh, wild mushroom hash um, it's got spinach Onions, peppers, some multigrain toast on the side, eggs, and a maple tahini sauce over the top. Oh, very nice. And finally, this uh, croissant. This is a sujik and egg croissant. It's like a play on um, sujik and eggs, which is a classic mm -hmm. breakfast. Um, it, we put it into a croissant with pepper paste and some garlic aioli. Very nice. It looks like a fantastic selection of menu items. This is just tip of the iceberg, of course. Tell us when your grand opening is and where people can find you. Uh, well, our grand opening is going to be December 4th. Um, but we, you're already operational. We we're, say. we're already yeah. opera operational. We just had our uh, soft opening this past Thursday. Mm -hmm. So far, it's been great. We've been getting a lot of great feedback. Um, um, so right now, our hours are going to be 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. on the weekdays, mm -hmm. um, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. on the weekends, and we are closed Mondays. All right, perfect stuff. Hey, thanks a lot for coming by this morning. Really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you for having us, Chris. Can't wait to try some of that stuff.